Today we'll explore the key differences between structure-borne and airborne sound transmission, conduct a simple experiment, and introduce practical solutions for effective control, featuring our anti-vibration systems under the trade name Vibro. In engineering, understanding how sound travels is crucial. Structure-borne sound transmission occurs when vibrations generated by a noise source are supported through a structure's boundary surface. This transmission method is particularly important in various industries, ensuring that noise is not only heard but also felt. Let's distinguish it from its counterpart, airborne sound transmission. Airborne sound travels through the air and is typically what we think of when hearing everyday noises. Structure-borne sound, however, relies on the structure itself, making it vital in situations where containing vibrations is key. Now let's dive into a simple experiment to illustrate structure-borne sound transmission. We have a vibrating source placed on a surface. Watch closely as the vibrations travel through the structure, creating audible noise on the other side. As you can see, the vibrations not only generate sound, but also travel through the structure. This phenomenon is the essence of structure-borne sound transmission. To control structure-borne sound transmission effectively, consider our vibro anti-vibration systems. Our range includes mounts, pads and hangers designed to isolate and dampen vibrations, preventing them from spreading throughout the structure. Whether it's an industrial facility, a commercial building, or a residential space, Vibro systems offer versatile solutions tailored to your specific needs. As engineers, understanding and controlling structure-borne sound transmission is crucial for creating quieter and more comfortable environments. Invest in the right solutions and let Vibro be your partner in achieving effective noise control.